Hello everyone, we are from subgroup 5. We are present on our general reflections on our research articles which entitled Bioremediation of the Contaminated Soil Using Bacteria. This general reflection will be presented by our group members, me, Marlina, Heliatul, Vineta, Hanisa, and Daniel Haika. First, for the introduction, I will explain on problem statement and the objective of this study. The problem statement of this study is the heavy metal contaminations in the environment has become a major global concern because of toxicity and threat to the human life and ecosystem. Heavy metal can produce harmful effects on human health when they are taken up in amounts that cannot be processed by the organism. Metal contaminated environment can cause serious threat to our health and ecosystem. Metal such as lead has been introduced in the environment from a variety of sources such as storage battery, lead melting, tetraethyl lead manufacturing, mining, and painting. Lead can cause anemia, kidney disease, harm to our nervous system, and can also cause wildlife destructions. There are several methods has been designed for the treatment and removal of heavy metals in contaminated sites, such as physical chemical method, ex situ remediation technique, and in situ remediation technique. However, this method and technique have disadvantages including economically expensive, incomplete metal removal, requirement higher region energy, and generation of toxic sludge. Because of toxicity and the ubiquity of metals in environment, microbes have developed unique ways of dealing with unwanted metals. It has been mentioned in previous study that bioremediation is a sustainable strategy that utilizes the metabolic potential of microorganisms and plants to clean up contaminated environments. It achieves continuous decomposition or immobilization by exploiting the existing metabolic potential of microorganisms. Next, the objective of this study is to isolate and characterize some heavy metal resistant bacteria from slake with respect to their heavy metal accumulation efficiency. In the methodology of bioremediation of lead contaminated soil by using bacteria, the soil samples will be collected at different places from JP Simon Plant Trewa at different depths from 6 to 10 inches. Next, the physical chemical characteristics such as pH, dissolved oxygen, alkalinity, and total water content will be measured and determined for both freshly produced and old slag deposited. In strains isolation, the samples were mixed properly and enriched for lead resistant clones by incubation. The supernatants obtained were plated by spread plate method on LB agar medium containing lead acetate. The colonies appeared after three days of incubation were further screened at higher concentrations of heavy metal. Finally, the strains were selected as lead resistant isolates for further studies. Next is the maintenance and preservation of cultures. Strains were preserved in the refrigerator in step cultures made of LB medium and NA medium both for short time preservation. For long time preservation, glycerol stocks were made for storage in negative 70 degrees Celsius for a longer period of time. The next method is phenotypic studies and determination of maximum tolerance limit. Phenotypic studies such as colony morphology, frame staining, endospore staining, motility, biochemical tests, and acid production tests were carried out as, a, as per standard methods. On the other hand, maximum tolerance limit was determined by growing cells both in LB growth and LB agar with increasing concentrations of a respective heavy metal. The last method is heavy metal accumulation efficiency measurement. Heavy metal accumulation efficiency was measured by atomic absorption spectroscopy, AAS. 
the cells will be suspended and then digested. Following digestion, the cell extracts were analyzed in AAS. Next is the result of the experiment. The swab samples were tested for the physiochemical characteristics such as pH, use of oxygen, alkalinity, and total water content for older and fresh legs. The results show that the place is high pH and therefore the place is unsuitable for the growth of the plant. Next is the result of the alkalinity and pH of hot slag, which show that the older slag has higher use of oxygen and more alkaline compared to the first slag. Next is the phenotypic study of the isolated bacteria. The phenotypic study showed that the isolated bacteria is gram positive, rod shaped, erosive, salt tolerance, and endospore forming bacteria. Lastly, is the determination of maximum tolerance limit. To study the maximum tolerance limit, the cell will grow in the LB for increasing concentration of heavy metals and growth was observed. From the observation, the maximum tolerance limit of lead resistant bacteria was 900 microgram per milliliter. The concentration of heavy metal were determined using the atomic exception spectroscopy, which is described in the material and methods. In this graph, we will study the accumulation of lead the dif at different time interval of growth, and the concentration were determined at 12 hours, 18 hours, 24 hours, and 48 hours. From the graph, we can see the accumulation of heavy metal increased gradually in log phase, and they show a maximum level of accumulation at late log phase to stationary phase which is at 18 hours to 20 hours. However, accumulation of heavy metal takes place even the death of cell in lead resistant strain. Based on observation, the maximum frequency of lead resistant strain is at 18 hours with 0 0.7 to 3 mg per gram. The description of the study are it can be seen that the accumulation of heavy metal increased gradually in log phase, and they show maximum level of accumulation at late log phase to stationary phase. However, the accumulation takes place even after the death of the cell in lead resistance strain. Thus, this indicates involvement of obsessive mode of heavy metal accumulation. Then, as has been discussed earlier, that after a few rounds of screening at consecutively increasing concentration of lead, bacterial isolates were screened and selected for further study. The alkalophilic nature and salt tolerant abilities of the strain are significant with respect to the application in metal contaminated, cellulated, alkaline salt for bioremediation. Next, the lead accumulation efficiency of the strain as determined by atomic absorption spectroscopy was found to be optimum at 18 hours after inoculation, when the population reached almost the maximum density. The accumulation efficiency then decreased considerably, indicating it to be an active uptake system requiring energy for transport across the membrane. It has been shown that microbes have the capability to reduce heavy metal, but whether they reduce it for detoxification or for growth is a matter of concern. In a sample of agricultural soil, arsenic reduction was not coupled to growth, rather, it could be linked to detoxification. However, in the JNM4 strain of Bacillus species, Isolate from arsenic contaminate mark in Australia had been capable of oxidizing lactate to acetate while reducing arsenic to arsenide. Regarding lead resistance, there are reports that level of resistance for lead is also directly related with the biomass, which is in accordance with the study. As a conclusion, the bacteria isolate from JP cement slang disposal site was characterized by the heavy metal accusation and resistance. Then, soil sample inoculated with bacteria from JP cement show a reduction in lead level as compared to raw soil sample. Overall, 
the bacteria isolate from JP cement site express the abilities to reduce the lead level in the soil sample. It is a recommended approach to use bioremediation as it helps to reduce the heavy metal pollution in the soil by the usage of bacteria and it also helps to restore the contaminated soil in a more eco-friendly way. That's all for our group journal article presentation. Thank you for listening and have a wonderful day.